As Hillary has emerged from her husband's shadow and transformed herself from political wife to politician, the nation has continuously both wondered about and disagreed on the answer to the question of, who is this woman we all know as Hillary? And we believe in our country, and we're going to take it back starting tonight. So to all of you, thank you, God bless you, God bless New York, and God bless America. Hillary Clinton really polarizes people. They either love her or they hate her. No one is indifferent. I think she's only interested in personal power. I just think she comes across as being too, too fake or too focused or too willing to play the political game and not being sincere. I think she's a smart, accomplished woman, but I think she's very divisive and I don't think she'll win the presidency. For the past 20 years, Hillary Rodham Clinton has been many things to many people. As her image has been reimagined and recontextualized through various incarnations and upheavals, the one constant in Hillary's relationship with the public and the media has been the passion with which Americans have responded to her. Few public figures have inspired such powerful emotions for so long. I really admire her intelligence and drive. Hillary is just plain evil. We don't want to do it! Hillary has abandoned the core values of her religious upbringing. She's one of the first smart modern women that my generation has had to look up to. Where does this passion come from? Why are Americans so forceful and so divided in their responses to this one woman? To answer this question, we embark on a journey across America, seeking out Hillary's friends and enemies and a cross-section of the United States to understand America's fascination with Hillary Clinton. Through this exploration, we will learn about what Americans' responses to Hillary say about her, and most importantly, about America.